This is only good if it's got your initials or your name on it. Is that your name? Oh, it is. That's good. It is. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Nick Einhorn. Imagine taking a signed, borrowed banknote and loading it into a pen in under a second. That's how fast it is. Guys, I'm going to show you something amazing. Does anyone have a £50 note I could borrow? <laughs> that, that would have been amazing, right? Uh, what have you got? £10 note? £20 note? What's the biggest note you've got on you right now? Would you do me a favour? Would you write your initials on that €50? Euros so when we see it again, we know it belongs to you. I have checked with the Bank of England. I did ask them, is it legal for me to ask people to write on bank notes? They said it is legal for me to ask. It's just illegal for them to actually do it. Watch that €50. Euros. I'm going to fold it once and fold it twice. It'll get smaller, but it will never leave your sight. It does start to look like something else entirely. I have made your initials disappear. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Yeah, you're not so happy, are you? No. I'm not. I should have told you, your investment can go down as well as up. I should have mentioned that. I'll do it again. Watch the five pound note. Little fold, little fold, a little squeeze, and it turns back into your 50 euros. <laughs> Bad. Thank you. Uh, I'll tell you what, look, if I fold it up with your initials on the inside, on the inside like this, nice and small, uh, can you pass me the pen that I gave you just a few seconds ago, or did I? I've got it here. Look, when I tap on the back of my hand, your note completely disappears. <laughs> I'll do it again. Do you have another 50 euros I can borrow? <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you a little piece of paper. Would you write down your name and your postcode on the piece of paper? That way, if I find it, I'll send it to you. I'll show you something amazing. Take the pen. Okay. Uh, pull off the lid. Anything inside? No. Would have been good, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> have a look at this. No way. No! no. <laughs> This is only good if it's got your initials or your name on it. Is that your name? Oh, it is. Yes. That's good. It is. <laughs> Thank you very much. Amazing. As it's, uh, it's drying out. Put the lid back on. I think I know what's happened. I think there might be a blockage inside the pen that wasn't there a few moments ago. Let's have a look. This is only good if it's got your initials on or your name. Is that your name? Yes. Then that's good. Thank you very much. Imagine being able to take a folded banknote and being able to load it into a pen that quickly. That's what I've just done. It's now in there, it's now sealed, and the only way it can be removed is to untwist the pen and find it inside. This is a precision-made gimmick made in the UK, and because I oversaw the production of it, I was able to include a very special feature which enables this to be reset in front of the spectators. The Build to Marker is one of the strongest pieces of magic that I perform. I've performed it for the last eight years, consistently getting great reactions. You're about to learn my routine and my handling for Antonio Romero's Build to Marker.